Probably the last video of the night here. Making some good progress. We've got the peel move sped up quite a bit. Switched from an acrylic platform back to the punched steel. Um, I like the punched steel a lot more. It allows the resin to flow. Uh, there's a lot less suction. It overall just works out a lot better. Allows us to pick that speed up, as you can see. The Z-axis is lifting and dropping at, I believe, 60 millimeters a minute. And the X and Y axis are moving at 600 millimeters a second. I'm not sure if I actually have acceleration settings turned up high enough to achieve that speed uh, with this uh, smaller part here but it's still moving really quickly. Each layer there is 0.1 millimeters. Infill, I'm still only doing 5%. There's not much need for more right now. It wouldn't add too much time to increase it to 10 or 20 or 30%. But for this phase of testing, I really just need to get through some prints, check their accuracy, and uh, right now, considering I'm only doing a test cube, I'd like to get to some models with a little bit of shape and some overhangs and some support and some things like that so we can prove that it works for all things. Let's go over to the computer here. Can see 600 millimeters a second. My slicer profile there. Infill 0.05. Layer height 0.1. Perimeter 6. And running printer interface. And here you see the real time view. About an hour and ten minutes, give or take. I've already been going for a little while. So hopefully we'll have more to post tomorrow. Uh, hopefully some new, new prints. Some shapes that aren't test cubes. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there.